Serving as a respected stronghold in the Golden Gates neighborhood of Coral Gables is the George Washington Carver School System. Carver owes a large part of its ongoing legacy to its loyal alumni who, although have gone on to achieve incredible accomplishments, know that their success began with their educational foundation. Carver proudly hosts an annual Alumni Day, a celebrated tradition that honors the different classes of alumni with a nostalgic Carver High School roll call, memorable yearbook photo collages, and a Hall of Fame induction ceremony. This year, Carver inducted the late Reverend Dr. Austin R. Cooper Sr., a highly esteemed graduate of the class of 1950. Several of Reverend Cooper's immediate family members, including his sister Leona and his children, who flew in from the New Jersey and Philadelphia areas, attended the event to honor him. This is a school where my family and I attended. We're very proud of having been students at this school. My parents were immigrants from the Bahamas, settled here for a better way of life, and they did all they could to make life better for us. I'm also very honored today because my brother, the late Reverend Dr. Austin R. Cooper Sr., is being inducted into the Hall of Fame posthumously. He did a lot of beautiful things. He was very fortunate to give the invocation at the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. He worked on the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King in more ways than one. He was chairperson of the NAACP in Cleveland, Ohio, and did a wealth of good things. He was a civic leader serving as president of the Cleveland chapter of the NAACP, which called the White House to vote in a consultation by President Jimmy Carter, and was recognized by the United States Congress not once, but twice. That was also a finalist to be subcommission for the Diocese of Southeast Florida. Throughout his uh, life, he demonstrated by uh, word, example, and deed the importance of education. So to be recognized uh, uh, by anyone, but certainly by this school, 14 years after his passing, is indeed an honor, for which we are very appreciative. Certainly we don't have segregation in the form that we did before, but uh, segregation does exist uh, in a different form, certainly uh, economically. So Dad uh, did not let anything or anyone keep him back. Uh, set your goals high, uh, burn the midnight oil, and do what you can in order to be successful in life. I went on to graduate from Tuskegee University. I'm a veterinarian in Philadelphia. And that all started from both of my parents um, to do the best that I can do and uh, no goal was unattainable. If you had to pick out a childhood memory that is your favorite, your favorite memory with your dad, what would you say that was? Our morning talks in the morning, always dropping us off to school and giving us a little bit of advice um, to appreciate what we have. There are those that are unfortunate that don't have the opportunities we have. So always be thankful for what you're given and what you have. And, do as best as you can in life. When I found out that Dad was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, it was uh, quite special for me. I used to live in this community as well, so I used to hear quite a lot about how Dad thought this community was so instrumental in shaping who he became. One of the things that Dad always taught us was that people are just people. Um, no matter your economic background, your race, your religion, um, people should all have the chance to learn to come someplace where learning was appreciated and it was something that became a tool for success in life. So looking around at these young people today and the time that he was here in school, it was solely a segregated school and seeing all the diversity has been really nice. I know that right now, Dad is beaming as he looks down on all of us gathered here this afternoon. In this place, in the school he not only loved, but which played such an instrumental role shaping him into the man that he was. Reverend Cooper's values and hard work ethic were certainly instilled in his children, who all went on to become motivating individuals and successful professionals themselves. For Coral Gables TV, I'm Brianna Moles.